Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the agar oil diffusion method. This method is widely used to determine the antimicrobial potential of antimicrobial agents. In this method, oils are made on the agar plates and the antimicrobial agents are put on those oils. After that, those plates are incubated for 24 hours for the bacterial growth. After 24 hours, we can see the zone of inhibition that means there will be no bacterial growth if the antimicrobial agent has antimicrobial potential. So in the diagram, you can see that the antimicrobial agent P and C has the antimicrobial potential as there is no bacteria surrounding their wells. At first, you need to make small wells on the other plate with the help of a sterilized cock borer. Don't forget to re-sterilize the cock borer after making a single well on the agar plate. You can sterilize the cock borer by dipping it in alcohol and running it through an open flame. After that, you need to spread the bacterial suspension on the agar plate with the help of a cotton swab. For uniform distribution of the bacterial culture on the agar plate, you need to move the plate quite a few times and you need to spread the bacterial culture on the surface of the agar plate very smoothly. done completely you need to sterilize the cotton swab by dipping it in alcohol and running it through open flame you can discard the cotton swab after sterilizing it next you need to put the plant extract that were made by you on the other plates. Don't forget to make a well for positive control where you will use an antibiotic and a second well for a negative control where you will use the solvent that was used by you for the extraction.
So here in the result we can see that the leaf extract has more antimicrobial activity than the positive control that is the standard antibiotic and it can be used as an alternative of the standard antibiotic.